everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my long-awaited LA Eye Mat Haul! Woo! I'm really excited about this because this bag has been sitting on my floor for about two weeks and I'm really eager to open everything up. I've already cracked into a few items, but I want to haul everything, share it on my YouTube channel and my blog, and just be done with it. So, I met was two weekends ago. I went with two of my girlfriends, met up with a whole bunch of other friends down in LA. My friend Mallory drove out from Vegas. A couple of my friends who are based in LA we met up with. Um, my sister and her best friend, we drove down from Northern California. I talk about this in every IMATS haul. We always have a great time and it's always fun to shop the sales, meet the bloggers and the YouTubers that are there, also learn like expert techniques from the Hollywood and cinema makeup artists that are at the show. And yeah, it's an all around good time and I think it's worth the money and it's fun attending. So I, I think I got stuff maybe on par with last year. There's a lot of stuff to get through so let's go ahead and hop right in. So on Friday night of IMATS, I went to a private blogger event with Crown Brush and they gave us some goodies. So first they gave us each a set of, let's see, these are the Syntho brushes. Some people got the Infinity. I got a set of the Syntho. And these are synthetic brushes that are great for cream and powder products. So we have a selection of face and eye brushes in this cute little carrying case. They hooked us up with, I think, sets of tweezers, eyelash curler, and like their version of the beauty blender. I absolutely love their brushes. If you watch my channel, you know I use crown brushes all the time. I'm a huge fan of the infinity brushes, so I picked up some replacements and then some blush brushes, some eye blending brushes, and yeah, I just love crown brushes, so I definitely had to show them some love and stock up for the year. They were also kind enough to give beauty bloggers a pretty generous discount at the show on top of the eye mats prices, so love Crown Brush. I will always shop with them. So my first stop at eye mats, while my sister and Lindy were in line for Sugar Pill, I spotted this brow booth. It was called Vanity Mark Brow Bar by Brett Friedman, and he actually hooked up my brows. He gave me a, a grooming, a little bit of a shaping. He said that my brows were pretty full, but he did a lot of cleaning up on the tail end, which I was so thankful for because I have so many sparse hairs on the end, I, I'm just never sure what to do with them. Should I connect the dots? Should I extend the brow? He said that, in his opinion, he thought they could all go, so I trusted him, let him go with it, and... A few minutes of plucking later, I was left with a really nice shape of my brows. And he used this, um, I guess it's a light ash brown, what do they call this? Blondie powder, so it's a, a light kind of ashy brown color. And he used this spoolie, dual-ended spoolie and brush from his line. So, yeah, I was loving the results of my brows. Thank you so much, Brett, for hooking me up. So if you're interested in his brow products, they're called Vanity Mark, and he has a brow bar in L.A. if you're in the L.A. area. Stila had some really good deals, so I picked up two of their Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and I got them in black. They were a really good deal. I think they were $10 each, so 50% off. And I swatched this on my hand, and literally it did not come off for a day. Like, despite washing my hands, scrubbing my hands with makeup wipes, this liner is no joke, and it has a really fine felt tip. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I've never used it on my eyes before. I kind of just bought it on a whim, but everybody I know who uses this recommends it greatly, so I can't wait to give this a go. All right, so I stopped by the Scandinavia booth and I bought their classic makeup finishing spread. This is a makeup spray. It is hypoallergenic and paraben free. It is geared to help your makeup stay on longer and look better. So I bought just the original, what is this, a four fluid ounce, and she gave me a free sample of the No Glow Oil Control Spray. This is a new product that they have from the line. And I guess it's geared for people with oily to combination skin. So I, I'm, I'm liking this so far. I'll have more thoughts on this to share um, into February, but I'm liking this so far and excited to try this one out too. A product I've heard a ton about on YouTube is the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleanser. And this is a kind of brush cleansing fluid that smells like vanilla and it leaves your brushes smelling amazing. So I saw a demo of this at the counter and there was no question I had to buy it. I bought the small one just to kind of try it out on my own and I have a feeling I'm going to like this stuff so we'll see how it goes. Um, I have pretty high expectations for this so yeah, got that. Every year at IMATS I use it as my opportunity to stock up on Ombriolis Le Creme Concentrate. This is one of my favorite 
all-time favorite facial moisturizers. It is very gentle, suitable for all skin types. It is paraben-free, and it's just really awesome. They have a good deal at the show. It's like two for forty or something like that. You know, when no one of these normally retails for about twenty-eight to thirty dollars. So. Yeah, love this stuff. It is very gentle. My skin drinks it up, and yeah, it's awesome. Last year, I took the plunge and bought my first Hakuhodo brush, and man, do I love that brush. Although it does shed on me, uh, I'm not sure if I have a defect or not. People tell me I might have a defect, but shedding problems aside, that did not stop me from buying more Hakuhodo brushes this year at IMAX. I bought three Hakuhodo brushes. I bought two blending eye brushes, a skinny one and then like a medium sized one. And I bought a contour blush brush. So you know the drill. Hakuhodo brushes are made in Japan. They're expertly and artisanally made. The um, They are animal hair brushes and the hair is not cut. So there are no blunt fibers. They just have a really nice soft, buttery soft feel to them. If you can imagine a bunny tail on a brush, that's what Hakuhodo brushes are, and they're very well made. They're all made by hand in Japan. If you are ever interested in trying these brushes, IMAX is the place to pick them up because they are tax-free and you obviously don't have to pay for shipping. So I use that as my opportunity to buy some new brushes from the line, and I can't wait to, to put these in action. Those three brushes were $75, so when it comes down to per unit, they're not exorbitantly spent expensive it's when you get into the face brushes the big powder brushes those are the really expensive ones so yeah I thought that was a pretty good deal and honestly the eye brushes are the same price as Mac brushes so it's not it's not as outrageous as everybody says it is is this product is totally a YouTube throwback if you ever watch lollipop 26 she um, now blogs at buy now blog later uh, com, I think is her, her blog uh, URL, but she used to do YouTube videos way back in the day and she raved about Face Atelier Foundation and I walked over to their booth, got a little demo in the back of my hand and from what they say about this foundation, it sounds amazing. It is, I guess it's supposed to mimic skin. It is silicone based. It's cruelty free. So they were saying Kelly Clarkson uses this and she has really troublesome skin. Her makeup artist uses it both on tour and like during video shoots. So this is a lovely, lovely foundation. It comes with a pump. My shade is sand and this is a one fluid ounce container. They were offering a really good discount at IMAT, so I thought it'd be the time to stock up. And the finish of it was really lovely on the back of my hand, so I can't wait to try this out on my face. So I was so glad NYX had a booth at IMAT this year. They were absent last year in 2013, but in 2014 they had a humongous mega like cube-shaped booth. You know, you could shop on all four sides of it. And I picked up some classic NYX items that I love, as well as some new products that I'm excited to try. Some returning favorites that I stocked up on are the Stay Matte But Not Flat Pressed Powder Foundation. This is in the shade Nude, a gorgeous powder. I also stocked up on the Full Coverage Concealer. This used to also be called the Concealer in a Jar. And my shade is Fair, so this is good for spot concealing as well as under eye concealing. I got two packs of the Green Tea Blotting Sheets because I love these. I love having them at work and in my bag. One more repurchase is this NYX Stipple Brush. I love this for like doing highlighter or blush. Since this is a duo fiber brush, it really helps you um, prevent picking up too much powder and kind of has a nice soft application. So love this right here. And some new products. I picked up the NYX Eyelash Curler. This was really cheap and the curler that I'm using currently is on its way out. So I thought I'd get a new one. And then I picked up these two HD concealers that I just featured in my January favorites. This is yellow and this is in porcelain and I use these for underneath my eyes and I'm really liking the results. So check out my January favorites if you want to hear more about these concealers. Next up is Lime Crime and I'm a longtime fan of Lime Crime. I love the crazy colors they come out with. You know, I pick and choose the ones that work for my lifestyle, but I appreciate that, you know, I've been following Doe Deer, the founder, for a long time. She's a longtime blogger. I've been following their story for so long, I just love supporting them. So all of their products are vegan and cruelty free. 
and I owned one of their lipsticks, but this time around I wanted to pick up a nail polish and this one is a velveteen, so this was kind of a whim. Like I never I heard about it, but I didn't really know too much about it. But when I swatched it, honestly, this product is amazing. It is a matte longwear lip stain, and I also featured this in my January favorites. Check out that video if you want to learn more about this, but basically it is a gorgeous reddish pink that will stain your lips for hours and it is seriously bulletproof. This product will not come off unless you use a oil-based makeup remover. And I love long wear products, so love my pink velvet velveteen. And I got this nail polish. These sold out really quickly last year at IMATS, but I got the shade Peaches and Cream and it is a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous color for spring. It is a pastel orange. And orange is my favorite color, so I could not say no to this. Next up, I'm not really sure where I picked this up along the way, but there was a Dermalogica booth somewhere and somebody gave me a free sample of their Skin Perfect Primer, SPF 30. It's from the Age Smart line. And lastly, I went to LA Colors and got some funky glitter products that are usually a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I heard great things about their glitters and they're pretty affordable. So here we are. First I got this nail art glitter. It is a beautiful like fuchsia purple. And this is not for your face but for nail art. So I was thinking I would paint my nail and maybe like dip one or two nails into this glitter and kind of get like a really crazy disco ball effect. So I love just this purple. It is so pretty. Then I got three glitter liners. This one is a turquoise mermaid color. This is a cobalt blue color and this is a gold color. So my thoughts on this is that I would maybe with a really neutral eye look I would line the bottom lash line really really thin and I swatched these a bit at the booth and the color it was actually pretty opaque like it was pretty concentrated when you swiped it across um, so I thought these would be really fun to play play up you know for a night out or maybe for when I'm filming a YouTube video really pretty and I definitely don't own any glitter liners at the moment so couldn't say no to those and lastly at LA Colors they have these chubby sticks they are very similar in packaging to the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains the Clinique Chubby Sticks those type of products but theirs is called the Chubby Twist and it is a matte lip color this color is called Pink Orchid and honestly it swatched beautifully when I was at their booth. It just kind of gl glided on my hand so effortlessly. Um, it will be, you know, a true test to see how long it lasts, but the color and pigmentation was amazing so I can't wait to crack this open and try it out in day-to-day -day wear. So that's about it for my iMats haul. I want to cut it off before this video gets too long and detailed. So yeah, I had a really fun time. This was my third year attending iMats. By now, I'm probably sure you're sick of all the IMATS hauls and videos that are coming up, but I was really late on this, just life got in the way, but I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions about the products or would like to see future reviews or mentions of these products, please leave me a comment below letting me know so I can put that on my to-do list. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, especially if you stayed to the end, and I'll see you very soon in my next video.